I'm here to update you on the arrest of a suspect with regard to homicide 56 for 2017, and that's the murder of Tess Ritchie. Uh, Tess Ritchie was last seen on Saturday, November 25th, 2017, at approximately 3 a.m. She had been down in the area of Wellesley and Church, attending a bar uh, with a friend of hers. And uh, while she was down there, uh, she interacted with uh, several people, uh, one of them, one of which was a uh, young man that she met up with at some point who turns out to be our suspect. And she was in fact last seen in his company by witnesses. She was reported missing later that day uh, by her sister. And as a result, 51 Division, assisted by 41 Division, commenced an investigation into the missing person occurrence. On November 29th, Tess was unfortunately located deceased by members of her family who were in the area searching for her. And she was found in a uh, exterior stairwell outside of 582 Church Street. On Friday, December 1st, following a post-mortem post -mortem examination, her cause of death was determined to be neck compression. At that time, the homicide unit took carriage of the investigation and it became a homicide investigation. <clears throat> On Sunday, December the 3rd, investigators put out a press release with the description of this unknown male who had been seen with tests that night in the area of Church and Wellesley between 2 and 5 a.m. The description of that male was a male white who was taller than Tess, approximately 5'7 to 6 feet, somewhere in that range, with a slim build and light colored short hair. On Sunday, December 10th, investigators released some surveillance video images of a male that we are looking to identify as part of this investigation. <clears throat> as a result of those images being released, we did receive tremendous support from the community. And I also want to take this time to thank the members of the community, uh, businesses and private individuals who were uh, able to assist us by supplying us with video surveillance in that area for the night that Tess went missing. And all of that assist in our investigation. So I'd like to thank those people. And uh, I would also like to thank uh, members of the support units in the Toronto Police. Um, you see the homicide investigators up here when something like this happens and you uh, you talk about us in the papers but there's a whole bunch of people behind the scenes who do things to assist homicide and they do they work hard hours long hours and I'll tell you we couldn't do our job without them um, I also want to uh, thank the Center of Forensic Sciences for their assistance as usual in these type of investigations and also uh, the officers in 51 we need a lot of uh, officers to assist us in our canvas and searches and they were, uh, they were of great assistance. Uh, so on Sunday, approximately, sorry, Sunday, February 4th, so yesterday at about 11 p.m., uh, we were able to effect the arrest of the uh, person responsible for Tessa's murder. Uh, we're alleging that he's responsible and he was arrested for second degree murder and his name is Kalen Schlatter, K-A-L-E-N, this is his first name, S-C-H-L-A-T-T-E-R. He's 21 years old and he resides in Toronto. Um, he did appear today at College Park Courts and he's gonna be uh, remaining in custody. He was remanded in custody. Without getting too much into the evidence, which I have to protect for trial, uh, we believe that they were together uh, alone in that area and uh, they were together for some time and that Mr. Uh, Schlatter left the area and that uh, by the time he left, Tess uh, was already unfortunately deceased. Do they know each other? Doesn't seem to be at this point, no. No. Met that night. Met that night. As I said, uh, neck compression, which in layman's term or layperson's terms, strangulation. Is there any information you can provide on motive, potential motive? Uh, no, not at this time. Can we look back at the timeline? Obviously, we know that Tess Ritchie went missing on the weekend. Her family reported her missing, and her mother found her body five days later. 
Yes. Yeah, I've spoken to the family, and uh, that is the uh, subject of a, uh, a separate investigation. That's not within the scope of the homicide squad, so I won't be discussing that uh, aspect of the investigation. Has that been before the before? No. Is no. Uh, I'm not going to uh, elaborate on that. Uh, that's the professional standards uh, are, are involved, and I, I can't comment on their investigation. So you said that they were they were allegedly together for a period of time. Can you be more specific? Like, are we talking an hour, two hours? Yeah, I can't get specific because it's evidence of the investigation, and there has to be a trial. Why have they met at the bar? Did she have dinner at dinner time? I'm not going to get into any any Where further. Was he, arrested? he was arrested in the city of Toronto, close by his residence. <clears throat> The only thing I can say is that we became aware of him uh, fairly early on in the investigation and uh, there was quite a bit of work involved to bring us to the point where we were able to uh, place him under arrest for the homicide. Well, as I, I, I mentioned it already, they were uh, fantastic in assisting us with video evidence that we required and uh, speaking to us. I have no Do issues. Uh, I'm not going to speak to that uh, evidence. Why was the second degree charge? Sorry. Why was the second degree? It's the it's the appropriate charge, in this case. You're saying charges can be upgraded to first degree. I'm not saying that at this point. I'm I believe the appropriate charge at this stage is second degree. That's fair to say. How long was he on the radar? Uh, as I said, the only thing I'm going to comment on is that it was early in the investigation. Um, I'm not going to give you his address, but uh, the west end of what the city. My understanding is that he does some contract work. Like uh, home renovation type stuff? Or? Not home renovation, I don't believe. It's more of an exterior, doing exterior work Did on properties. Really on the I'm not going to comment on evidence of the investigation. There's I can't. Been some We take into account everything that is brought up, but it has no bearing on this uh, investigation. It's, it's probably fair to say yes at this stage, from what we understand. That it's random. Uh, opportunity. The opportunity presented itself. You'd have to ask the family. I've, uh, the family's on very good terms with the members of my team and uh, my partner, Detective uh, Lou Manis, uh, spoke with the family today and actually met with them. And uh, I speak to Tessa's mother probably twice a week. And what about experience with like being your team uh, working on a case like this? Obviously, it can be very impactful, obviously very emotional for a lot of the people involved. What's that like on you? <clears throat> well, we, take, we, take, we treat every case uh, of equal importance, and we we follow the leads until we hopefully can make an arrest. And, and if we can't, immediately we, we keep working on it until we get to that stage where we can hopefully make an arrest. So, I mean, this is the kind of case where obviously you want to make an arrest because it's it's very high profile. And uh, you know, Tess was a uh, you know a young innocent girl who you know obviously nothing like this should have ever happened to anybody. But uh, uh, we. It took a lot of work, and uh, everybody worked very hard. Like I said, the members of the team and also our support units in the service, and uh, we were lucky to be able to come to this successful conclusion. Just to be sure, the person of interest in those images, that's the guy that you arrested? Yes. Yes, it turns out it's him. Was it difficult on your team, it difficult on your team because the body had been lying there for five days um, because of the circumstances involving the mother fighting her? 
there's always different difficulties in homicide investigations. Um, you have to deal with them, you have to move past them, and you have to do it appropriately. It's not much more I can say than that. You have to, every homicide has its, has its issues. I don't comment on uh, investigative techniques. Can you say if he was arrested during a traffic stop? No, he wasn't. Uh, I'm not going to comment on the uh, on the way he was arrested. Just to say that he was arrested last night. One more question. What end of the city was that? The west end of the city. Thank you very much. Thank you. That concludes today's conference.